Okay, so the reason why oysters are amazing is they've, well, they've got a lot of stuff. They got a lot of protein, they got good fats, and the, the macros are good. But let's talk about micronutrients. So number one, zinc. Zinc is important for prostate health. It promotes fertility, and it also reduces the risk of cancer. The prostate uses a lot of zinc. In the body, the prostate stores a lot of zinc. Zinc deficiency is linked to prostate cancer. Um, zinc is also important for the immune system and many, many different functions. Um, I know for myself, for my autoimmune condition, which is also skin related, um, zinc is really important and also used in therapeutic doses many times. Chromium. Chromium's a big one, especially for all you keto people. If you want to talk about blood sugar regulation, chromium for pancreatic health, it's used in the body to create glucose tolerance factor and low levels can result in insulin resistance. Um, you can find chromium in oysters, of course, broccoli, green beans, beef, poultry, etc., etc. You also need adequate levels of vitamin C, which, fun fact, cauliflower is a good source, um, and niacin to absorb chromium. So remember, food is meant to be diverse and paired because there's often a lot of cofactors for digestion um, and assimilation. Uh, what's the next one? Let's talk about selenium. Selenium is really important for the gonads, the testes, and the ovaries. It is taken up um, in large quantities by these reproductive organs, and it's essential to fertility. And as we know, you know, fertility is an important marker for um, overall health, especially of people of reproductive age. Copper. Copper, copper is critical for energy production. It's really important to the adrenals because it stimulates the production of epinephrine and norepinephrine. Um, and it's also really important to keep copper in balance with zinc um, because you don't want to have the copper toxicity, um, which often is just a result of zinc deficiency. Okay, essential fatty acids, EFAs. We talk about these a lot. I talk about these on the blog all the time. Essential fatty acids, they're called essential because we do not create them. We need to eat them. And we need essential fatty acids to create the prostaglandins, which are hormone-like substances that are in charge of the inflammatory responses in our body, among other things. So having proper amounts of omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acids are really important for proper inflammatory response. So omega-3s are in charge of the anti-inflammatory response and omega-6 are in charge of the inflammatory response. So we need both, right? I know everyone's like, oh, inflammation's the worst, we don't want inflammation, but think about it. When you cut your finger and it gets red and a little swollen, that's your body going to protect it, right? But then it also, the inflammation goes down on its own and that's a healthy function. So most people have chronic or acute inflammation and that's not good. And of course, the cause of that, I believe, is the overconsumption of omega-6 foods, specifically inflammatory hydrogenated seed-based oils. So oysters, smoked oysters, <laughs> any kind of oysters. But we're talking about the smoked ones today because they're really easy to get and really easy to eat. Um, they are a fantastic source of omega-3s. So omega-3s never come alone. They always come paired with omega-6. However, the ratio, you have 1.2 grams of omega-3 to 0.2 grams of omega-6 in 12 oysters. That's really impressive. That's a really fantastic ratio. I would say that that's optimal. And last but not least, we have B12. So B12 is, you know, you often hear a lot of times people who adhere to plant-based diets. That's one of the biggest deficiencies they get, B12. It's essentially, you can only get it from animal proteins. Um, some are more, you know, concentrated than others, but B12 is crucial for cognitive health, brain function, nerve function, and also uh, red blood cell formation. So there's definitely a lot more nutrition in oysters, but these are the big ones where you're getting like 75, 90% of your RDI or more. Um, RDI is recommended dietary, uh, recommended dietary intake. So I just wanted to cover these and keep this short. Um, I will be working on an oyster recipe for the blog in my next book, but in the meantime, if you go to a restaurant and you get fresh oysters, raw oysters, and you can shuck them, um, you can definitely ask the server. Um, different oysters have different flavors. They often have different flavor profiles like briny to sweet to buttery. And if you're still not a fan of the flavor, put a ton of horseradish on them. It really helps. Um, if you can't do the cocktail sauce, I can't do it. So I just get fresh horseradish um, and some lemon juice. Or you can get it in soup. You can make your own soup. 
Um, but like I said, if you're not near the ocean, canned oysters, and you can get really good quality ones. They're smoked, they're not fishy whatsoever. You can either just pop them in your mouth <laughs> or you can eat them. You can make a spread, you can put them in salad, you can put them in soup. Um, they're fantastic. There's tons of recipes online and I said I will contribute to those. Um, you know, Chris Master John has this like B vitamin kind of therapeutic thing where you eat like one oyster a day, uh, like one ounce of raw uh, like liver, just like frozen, cut it up, and then like one clam. Um, and I have one of my, one of my nutritional therapy clients is doing that. And she says, it's super easy. You know, you just put, put one in your mouth. Think of, instead of taking a vitamin, just pop an oyster in there and just swallow it whole if you need to, if you don't like how it tastes. But honestly, I'm telling you from a person who likes seafood, but not fishy seafood, if that makes sense, that these smoked oysters were amazing. Let me show you the brand I got today at Whole Foods. Um, and they were packed in olive oil. So they're called Crown Prince. This is not a sponsored post. I'm just showing you what I got. Um, look at the ingredients. Oh, can you see them? It is smoked oysters, olive oil. That's it. No other ingredients. Anyway, I hope that you liked this short little video on the importance of oysters and why they're so nutritionally dense. Um, I will be doing more of these on different foods. Next one will be on my other favorite uh, nature's multivitamin, liver. So stay tuned for that.